home. And oh my god, I miss this place so much. I've missed this rug. I've missed my couch. I've missed this window. I've missed Sonya. Yeah, you girl. Oh, you're a beautiful person. I've missed the beautiful Calgary web. Okay, today's not a perfect example. I've missed having a proper shower. And I have missed my bed. Ah, oh, this thing is one of one of the, the real joys in life. It's a bed that you love, that you worked hard for, and you get a good rest on. Not like sleeping in a car, or a tent, or a... Okay, there wasn't that much of it. What is that? Kind of looks like somebody missed me, too. So, tree planting was an absolute dream come true, and also an absolute nightmare. It's a little bit of both. I don't have a video yet. I have a bunch of footage, and I believe that should be plenty to turn it into a video. Um, I'm not done yet. I haven't actually even begun. I was going to work on that in the evenings while I was out tree planting, but I actually spent the evenings working on my costume for Rainbow Fiddle, which I just got back from. And that was more adventurous than usual. Um, I'm gonna steal some footage and some photos and drop them in here because you can see it. Yeah, you gotta go through the small. It's heavily fortified, but it's friendly forces, so you will be safe. <laughs> It was a fantastic weekend, as it usually is. It was a lot of fun. But there was a lot of rain. It got very muddy, very wet, very sticky. A lot of people got very stuck the entire weekend. We did it anyway. My costume turned out uh, pretty good, I think, and that was a lot of fun. Kinda just went from one thing straight to another, but I do have quite the stack of mail waiting for me. This isn't even all of it. Insurance, Canada Post, police, credit card stuff, people who want to give me one and people who want me to pay for one. Now let's get to the fun stuff. CJSW. Radioactive. Hi friend, thanks for being a part of our CJSW Radioactive Listener Appreciation Week. They sent me a patch. Thank you CJSW for being the best radio station in the world. Save our hummingbirds. I enjoy your adventures in bottle picking and trash, upcycling, recycling. People really do throw away a lot of useful stuff. You right. I have a friend who collects, washes, sanitizes, and donates clothing and shoes to those in need. That sounds great. I was actually thinking about doing that too. Um, there's, uh, just because there's a lot of stuff that I find that isn't worth money to me, but is also not worth throwing out because it's totally still useful. Kimberly goes on to describe how she uh, upcycled a dresser, refinished it, and gave it to her son. Um, but it took a while because she doesn't use power tools or power sanders. You're not going to take off your thumb. Power tools are... That's what gloves are for. <sighs> and then she found a little Canadian change. <laughs> and decided to send that along. Here's the quarter. Thanks, Kimberly. Yeah, no, I totally hear what you're saying. Uh, Kimberly lives in, a, in an apartment and she can't really go hard on the collecting lifestyle. And I get it. I shouldn't be going hard on the collecting lifestyle either because it sure does pile up. You should see my garage right now. I am not looking forward to it. To Thumbprint YouTube channel. It's just me. <laughs> and well, I really like your YouTube videos and one of your best videos is the scrapping a microwave fast and safe. I live in Nova Scotia so the prices you get in Alberta are a lot more than here but some of the prices are the same but I also only have one scrapyard in my community. You're absolutely right. There are 
uh, eight scrap yards in Calgary and I think the reason why the prices are so low when you're in a smaller center is because that scrap yard typically their buyers for their scrap is actually a different scrap yard in a bigger center so all they're really doing is filling uh, filling trucks and driving it into a city center and then selling it to the same place that I would sell it to it would be like me purchasing scrap metal from people in my own backyard and then driving it down <laughs> that scrapping a microwave fast and safe that somehow thanks YouTube algorithm exploded and became my most viewed video and I gotta be honest looking back on it it is not uh, <laughs> one of my absolute favorites. It is in its own way because it kind of set the tone that I was going for, but holy cow, um, there were a lot of a lot of holes in the, inf in the information there and a lot of people making negative comments about how everything I did was wrong and like I think if you like step back and look at what the <laughs> what I was doing there that was kind of intentional but I feel like I have a reputation now as uh, that guy on the internet who doesn't know how to take apart a microwave. And yes, I'm aware you could sell all the parts for a lot more money than the $4 in copper you're going to get out of it. If I could have chosen my most popular video, or my most viewed video, it would not have been that one. Um, but at the same time, it happened the way it happened, and I have no regrets. Thanks for writing, Tyler. Oh, this is from Thomas. Dear Thubbrint, hello from the rolling hills of Wimburn, Alberta. Thubbrint is usually listed as having a recently uploaded video and takes its turn on the monitor at full screen mode. Thank you! Usually, yes. But there's more coming, I assure you. The question that most perplexes me is why there's nowhere to sell e-waste in Canada. Not true! There are a couple people, independent buyers, and a few outfits out in Ontario. Still need to follow through on that. Uh, across the border, there is BoardSort.com, but they don't accept shipments from Canada. I know, right? I so wanted to mention that your use of Bear Wire Incorporated has prompted me to give them a try. I found they also opened a second location on the east side of Deerfoot Trail in the north. Yeah, they did do that. Other places I've been to have a dirty little trick of quoting an excellent price on the phone, but then list a high tear weight when you cash out. Yeah, it can be a sneaky business. My empty plastic pail does not weigh six pounds Empire Metals. Ooh! Name drop. It might though. Sometimes those like six pounds is less than you think. Wait, a little gift. <laughs> it's a high five coupon. Cool. YYC. Well, Thomas, things have definitely slowed down on the video production side of things. Last year I did uh, work a little harder to make sure I had videos coming out like on a regular basis throughout the summer, but I gotta be honest, I it was stressful and I really um, I wanted to enjoy this summer a little bit more. So there's still more um, more work for me to do and I will do my best to have videos coming out as often as possible. Um, my focus is really just to have a great time with my kiddo and, uh, and a great time myself, but also position myself to, um, to really focus on my passion for this channel and these hobbies. So that's a little bit of, um, that takes time. That's where I'm at and we'll get there. I appreciate your patience. I guess what I'm saying is I have one more project that I need to go out and do and uh, it's something I've never done before I'm hoping to share it I hope you guys are uh, willing to be patient and um, enjoy whatever I manage to come up with it's also these things that came through fragile trapped on PS2 I started kinda of, sorta of casually collecting PS2 games this one is in great shape came with the manual looks great. There's some really good ones on PS2. Uh, some of them are getting expensive now, but a lot of them are still affordable and like, I don't play a lot of video games, but I do like chasing after unique gaming experiences. Those like one-of-a-kind gems. This game here, this is the PAL version, that's why it comes in a blue case and uh, it won't play on a uh, North American or NTSC version of the system. But 
I have here. Okay, so the NTSC version is $100 or more, and the uh, I got this one for less than $10 shipped. This one cost me pretty much nothing, but the outer art is damaged, and it came with no manual. This one, however, $10, outer art is in perfect condition, and it comes with a manual. So here's the plan. Got a game that I got at a second-hand store for like a dollar, which I don't care about. But the case is flawless. We're gonna take the PAL box art, this highly damaged NTSC box art, slap one on top of the other. You know what, I like it. It's really goofy, but like, look at the art on this thing. How would I describe that? It's like a bunch of different images overlaid on each other, and it kind of makes the style of what I've ended up with here. It kind of works. And then we've got the manual, which unfortunately is the French manual, but being a Canadian, um, I can fumble my way through it. Every Canadian knows cereal box French, at the very least. And now I have a uh, semi-rare $100 horror game for roughly $10. There. It's a modest collection. Oh, this one was waiting for me when I got home. Yeah, that one uh, we're playing through right now. One of the harder ones to acquire, uh, which is why the sweetheart that uh, got it for me knew it would uh, put a smile on my face. You're such a dork. So, what's next? I kind of forgot what this place even looked like without, uh, well, with all the foliage here. Fun backyard, I don't want to move. We gotta run to the post office real quick. <gasps> From Kim Reese Larson in Richmond, Indiana. Thanks, Kim. Hey, me again. Uh, I would like to pay for the, the mail redirection to my home address from the PO box. Why? Why? Well, Are you deserting us? What? No, I mean, oh, I guess that means we wouldn't get to hang out so much. See, it cost me a little extra money, but I know for a fact there have been numerous times where people have sent me something, and then I fail to go and pick it up. Um, it, originally, that wasn't my fault. They told me they would just hold it indefinitely. Stuff has been sent back, and I feel like a dick because I never got a reply when I tried to contact the person who sent it. And... <sighs> Yeah, I can only imagine how that feels, mailing something cool to somebody that you think is fun on the internet, and then it comes back. So, instead of ever having to let anybody feel like that again, I'm just gonna pay the money to have it forwarded to my address, so then, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, there are a couple more details, a couple more things that showed up. Now, a quick little errand, we're just gonna take some trash into the scrapyard. We got, uh... Decent pile of stuff back there. Uh, my buddy hooked me up with a bunch of batteries he's been saving for me while I was gone. And uh, there was one sitting in the house, and we got some copper pipe, and then my mom sent me back with a, um, a bin of her old Christmas lights. So, it's just a small load, but uh, I don't feel like unloading it all into the garage and still owning it, so might as well take it straight in. I feel like I should put this on the front of my scooter, but uh, I don't really know how to. Decent little load. Right on, got a little bit of cash. Nothing explosive. Now, another errand. A quick bit of backstory on this one. I am a member of a Facebook group for uh, video game collectors, and there's a fella who uh, runs group buys, because there's these uh, these games that get released in a limited run kind of a thing, and uh, his group buys make it easier for everybody in the Facebook group to jump on and get their order in without having to risk missing out and them being sold out, and it also saves on shipping, so we just ship it all at once rather than everybody individually paying our outrageous Canadian shipping costs. Is it here? So given that I've been out of town for a little while, and I, you know, paid for a number of them, a few have come in. 
I think there's a bit of a stack waiting for me. So I'm kind of excited. Check in the mail, version 3.0. Hey buddy. How are you? Not bad, how are you doing? Good, good. So this is Corbin. Hi. He is responsible for, um, uh, I mean, it's a, he does, funds. yeah, he does us a great service, but a lot of people are a lot poorer because he makes it so easy to get such high quality stuff. Look at that stack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks buddy. Appreciate all you do. Here's my last errand. Let's see, Wob and I actually entered a contest, uh, and we did our absolute very best. And uh, sometimes your best is good enough. <laughs> hey, Ray. Is it Hello. It's not the first time I've been on video. Oh. Well, I it's the first time you've been on my channel. This is Raymond. He and Wob are hanging out because it's summer vacation. Yeah. Here we are. This and that, Wait, I have to turn it into something. You created these stickers? I did. I yep. created those stickers. You found me. <laughs> Subscribe. You have so many subscribers. Nintendo bag. I've never actually seen a Nintendo. Nintendo Labo sweater. That's pretty dope. Ah. Uh, More things to open. Wait, what? Nope, that's just packaging. That's FedEx. From uh, Mr. Sakaguchi, Mr. Kawamoto, and Mr. Ogasawa. Also, I won the decorating contest. So I'm pretty sure two of those uh, they created the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> and this is the one he's most excited about. It's da 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 da. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I'll just put the Zelda. This thing is really heavy. <laughs> no, I it's actually pretty nice. Well, you wear this for quite a while. That's pretty legit. <laughs> Official Nintendo seal. <laughs> Okay, this jacket, it's too big. Their sizing uh, was a little difficult to understand. I thought I was getting a large kid size because I had it all listed with like numbers and stuff. But I guess, still a win. Picture of our entry. It's all right. Turned out pretty good. You didn't see anything. <laughs> so I ordered a large thinking he could grow into it and now well, it's too big on me, so he might never grow into it. Oops. This video has just been a little catch-up because I wanted to say hi. I've missed actually publishing things. I'm having some sort of a, you know, I feel like I've been dropping the ball and I'm doing what I gotta do right now. It's more than just being on the grind though. This is adjusting. This is, this is about positioning. This is uh, putting myself in a better position to be more active in doing what I want to do. And that's spending time with you guys. Right now though, this is what has to happen. So I'll give you a little more information on what the uh, the next mission is, and it shouldn't take very long, not as long as tree planting anyway. And uh, I'm sure all will become clear until then, uh, at that time. Half of you guys are probably on summer vacation right now anyway, so whatever, get out there, enjoy it. Everything is so green and abundant, so let's, let's meet it with gratitude and love Leave it better than we found it. Keep doing the thing. Telling all my friends we gon' get there soon. Yeah, parties every night.